Hello, Monsters Abound here, an almost totally legal high, at least until government legislation comes into force later on this month and bans this sick filth from corrupting our youth. But while we're waiting for that to happen, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 23 of my Ungrim campaign. We've currently got dwarves all over the place. Uh, we've, we've managed to help the dwarves retake the Badlands. They seem to be seem to be doing okay doing that. They, they, yeah, I think so. Wurzag has managed to escape Myrmidons, but Belagal's going down to deal with that. Looks like Tilia are rebuilding. I mean, it'd be nice if they took Myriagnina, but um, they haven't as of yet. So we're kind of waiting for that. So hopefully they should be... They should be um, and hopefully the Empire, Carl, should... They're not currently at war with the Greenskins. No, which means we might have to... I mean, hopefully they'll grab Piffledorf. And once Ungrim's recruited some better artillery... I know you do. I know. But we just need to hold on for a little while and get some better artillery, Ungrim. Um, but once we've done that, you're going to head north and deal with the Greenskins in the mountain. Belagar can come and join you. We've got Warwick. He's going to get some wood. And Ospin is probably going to do a little early raid into Norska because he's a badass. Talking of badass, Kenny Baker. More art missile damage? For yeah, that's, that's... Absolutely. Can't see anything wrong with that. Dino Gorman, you can have... Runic axes, determine death blow. Slayer cult, melee attack for slayer units. Quite nice. Can't go wrong with that. Um, you well, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, do that. Do that. We also don't have any money because we've been kind of, uh, well, we we've just upgraded finally, Grimnir's monument of Karakadrin. Which is very nice. Uh, we will be able to get giant slayers. We've been sort of gunning for that for a while. 106 turns in and we finally managed to build it. Jesus Christ, wars procreate slowly, don't they? Bloody hell. And um, poor Peter Dinklage has gone mental. But um, he's going to be fine. Yes, it does. But first, you're going to be building some houses just as soon as we have the money to do that. Which is going to be next turn, Warwick. You just hold your horses. You're also a pathfinder. Chance of intercepting armies using the underway beast piles and world routes plus 10%. Useful to have. Getting assaulted. We're going to head down to Myrmidons. I mean, there is pots there. I could take the... I have been looking for pots. So I won't pretend otherwise. Now spit out your proposal. Hi, Vlad. You want a peace treaty? Am I at war with you? Oh, yeah, I am, aren't I? Uh, I was forgetting that. Um... Um, nah. That's it. Bugger off. Hail. Do not be intimidated by the throng of Drengi. They wish only to die in battle. Oh, that's not intimidating at all. Uh, you want military access. We will do anything to protect our home. With that in mind, I have this offer for you. Sure. I see you've been touched by Hoeth. Yes. Yes, that's that particular prosecution is ongoing. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. Wow. Uh, you want a non-aggression pact? Yeah, you didn't like my hero action, but to be honest, not the end of the world. Uh, let's... Yeah, okay, sure. That will help us hopefully get a confederation with you at some point. Should be really good. Because we need those mountains. Musulon's still alive. That is surprising, actually. Uh, hinder a planet from failure. Good. Aiden Turner as he, Aiden Turner's back. Where is he? He's over there. Okay, fine. And we want to recruit some better. Right. So now these grudge throwers, they are very highly ranked, but unfortunately, yeah, they're gone. So I can have two units of artillery. 
I kind of want three. Do I maybe get rid of one of the Slayer units? I mean... Yeah. Yeah, because I really want a Flame Cannon. And I, what I want, I get, basically. I'm the king, I get what I want. Right, we're going to head down... Oh, hello. Malcolm Dixon, he's got a skill point. Lovely job. Def uh, no, that's boring. Ballistics, well, yep, yeah, more range for artillery. Sounds pretty good. I don't think we can reach you. No, so we're just going to head down here. Just... Where's Wurzag going? Uh, you, what, what, we, where, why have you got green skins behind your lines, guys? Uh-oh. Are you heading from a talker or dock? Right, um, just, oh, fuck. Could grab wood first? Yeah, I mean, the people of Matorka have been... They've been sacked so often, they're probably used to it by now. We'll just, we'll grab this first. Because I want some wood. We won't be able to get that immediately. And I think I might actually take Myrimidons and Zvorak. If I can grab those. That'll give me marble and some pots. Eventually, anyway. And hopefully I'll get some better magic items. Okay, uh, Ungrim's army is going to be out of commission for three turns, which is quite a while, actually. And Kislev is going to be growing very slowly. 36 a turn. Jesus, that's... You need 300... Right, you get one growth point per every 10 turns. Friggin' hell. Do I have any agents that increase growth? I mean... Literally anyone. Boost income. Uh, what about Thanes? You just spread public order. Uh, who else? Rune Smiths. Cairns Corruption. Nope. Literally, I don't. Let me think. We've got Rune Smiths. We've got. Uh, Dragon Slayers, Thanes, and Engine... Right, no, 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 literally no one... Right, so Kislev is going to... It's going to take a little while. I mean, we could... That would basically increase that growth by, 50, by about 50%. So that... That's probably a good idea. We'll get... Yeah, we'll get some... Get some wheat fields... Definitely need some wheat fields. If we had more money, we could get that. That would be pretty good. Uh, Toolmaker again. That would be pretty good. We just don't have any. Don't have the money at the moment. Peter Dinklage. Do you want to just? No, you literally cannot do anything. That's that's a bit pants. Although we are improving. Greetings, Kinnaman of the Hold. What can I do for you? Well, you could confederate with me, but um, that's not going to happen. Then let's have a defensive alliance. Who are you at war with? Seems fine. Uh, the dwarves. Currently strength rank one with 17 settlements. Which, to be honest, I'm... I mean, I doubt I'll ever get to confederate with them at this rate, but I think that's fine. I'm not overly... I'm not overly concerned about that. They've, they've taken most of the bad lands there. That's that's fine. As long as they're keeping the green skins at bay. Uh, Peter Tinkley, you're not going to be doing anything. Aiden Turner, you can, I guess, just... Oh, yes. Looks like Carl has retaken. Oh, hello. Yes. Grimgore. Shit. I mean, I've got armies nearby, but... Uh, let's put some out of commission for three turns. Then I get a flame cannon. I mean, I'm fairly sure... Onward. ...that someone can deal with this. There's only Grim... I mean, yeah, I, I get that. I, I mean, yeah, I could... I, I think they're going to probably sack Mingle Vongle Barak, but...
Oh no! I even sneak once again. Okay, so we're going to grab Myrimidons, get some pots up, because that'll be good. Looks like Wurzag is wandering off. That's fine. We need to deal with Grimgore. That's obviously quite high up the agenda. Malagor, you are... I mean, as long as you're not pestering me, that's fine. Come forth, men of fair Britonia. Cadrin welcomes you. Hello, Military Alliance. Um, I'm going to say no, because you're at war with Orion, and frankly, I don't need that in my life. I don't need you two squabbling. I've got enough to deal with. I've got angry greenskins bearing down on me once again. Welcome to my throng. Indeed. Uh, military Alliance. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no just because I think it's going to keep you slightly stronger. Okay, yes, I didn't give that walls because I didn't think it would be a problem, and it looks like it's going to be a problem. Okay, we've got chapter, uh, chapter rejects for successful though, so that's good. You're going to be busy for two more turns. Myrimidons, what kind of garrison do you have? A tiny one. So that's just going to be a nice easy auto resolve, that's fine. Uh, we are, I mean I could sack it, but I think I'm just going to occupy. I think I'm just going to occupy. And then we can get... So, yeah, a nice clay pit. Lovely. That's what we want. Oh. We could actually get... I don't really need it, though. Um, in fact, I'm going to knock down... The, I'll keep that. Ready. Right, Belagar. Belagar. I'll keep reduction for ranger you yeah sure why not you've got lots of you got some bugman's rangers there so that'll reduce their upkeep I stand good glad you do uh more melee defense for you sure why not and then billy Connolly, you can have deadly blade right now we've got grimgore over there I'd like to stay here a little bit longer, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, so let's get move on. We should be able to replenish fairly easily. That's going to be fine. Uh, I mean, we could just not tax it. It's not going to bring in much anyway. I just literally want it for to link up with the, the dwarves, basically. That's the only reason I want that. Um, yeah, I need another unit for you. We're going to lose, we're going to lose that. That's a bugger. Akendorf is fine. We've got Myrimidons now. I'm hoping that Leonardo is going to go and settle his capital again. And now we've got Greenskins pouring out of the the mountains over here, which is a pain in the ass. We could upgrade Castle Drakenhof. I think I'm going to get the I think I'm going to get the Guild Marketplace though. Let's get that going. And in fact, I would like uh, another trinket maker there. Let's upgrade to the guild marketplace here as well. I'm not too worried about that. And we can then still upgrade cast, Occupy Castle Drakenhof. So let's do that. And then we spent all our money. Still, some good stuff going on there. We're going to assault that Peter Dinklage there completely off his nuts. He's just screaming at a lamppost. We might lose... Well, in fact, we're definitely going to lose... Bongle, mongle, whatever it is. Uh, but that's that's okay. I'm, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah. Hello, Grimgore. You've got a lot of goblins. Are you sacking it? You're just sacking it. Okay. I 
think Merimidon should be fine. Oh, Scarstink's popped up down there now, has he? I mean, once Ungrim is finished recruiting... Oh, he's going to be absolutely hopping mad about what just happened at Migdal Vungal Barrack. I think they're really struggling with corruption down there. Keep moving armies around. Uh, military alliance, no, because I think it's going to keep you more powerful not to be in a military alliance with me. I was really hoping the dwarves would be able to keep the greenskins at bay, but it seems like they're continuing to struggle. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. Have you taken that territory? Huh. Um. You are at war with some people, and you don't like Kalida. Getting on with Kemri, though. Um. Yeah, alright. Oh, 8k. And we've got a Venerator's Ancestor com uh, Commandment, additional untainted. Got a grudge issued on Grimgor Ironhide. What in fact, what grudges have we got at the moment? Where is the Great Book of Grudges? Is it literally just that one? Okay, sure. And right, we can deal with that. Uh, let's just march you. Uh, let's just grab another quarreler, I think. I think I'll be okay with that. We need to... Uh, wood. Let's get wood there because... You can reach there in two turns. So let's head you in that direction. Uh, we do have a feast hall there, so that's going to be fine. We can get more bots, which is going to be good. And let's get a trinket maker because why the hell not? May as well. Jack Purvis. Do you... Um, you can have Deadly Onslaught. Have that one. And Ungrim, you busy for one more turn? One more turn. Oh, but it's going to be so good when he does... Robbie Coltrane. Robbie, what do we want you to have? Um, Dampening, sure. 20, uh, to be honest, I think you're probably going to be able to have just all the skill points. Just all the skills, no problem. Vengeful yes, yes you are. Okay, let's get the, the barley field. And I'm going to upgrade to occupied Kislev level 2. So I can get some public order in here. Now, money wise, I don't think you're really making anything. So I don't I think that's probably okay. What we get. Okay, military presence is 9, characters is 6. Corruption is. Yeah, corruption is a big problem at the moment. But it is dropping. I'm hoping that Kazrak will bugger off. Okay, we can upgrade Mount Squighorn. We need to get, uh, ideally, some public order in there. Otherwise, we're just going to get no money from it forever. Matorka, you can upgrade... I don't want to upgrade your brine mine. Is upkeep redu... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Then, yep. Brine mine away, buddy. Brine mine away. And Doc Karaz, I think we're going to do the... Oh, no, we've already got... Okay, sure. Uh, let's get a trinket maker there then. More money. These armies are fairly beaten up, so I'm not overly concerned. I think we should be able to repulse them if they come in this direction. Uh, but yeah, yet again, green skins popping up all over. The I mean, Azhag got Grot Slick Bad Axe, which is horrifying. And Grimgore looks like he's coming down through the mountains. I don't think I've got anywhere else that's undefended. So maybe he's coming for Warwick. Maybe he thinks he can take Warwick. I mean, he's wrong. But maybe he thinks that. Peter Dinklage, do you want to just... 
continue to assault Dwarven Tattooist. In fact, do we have, uh, you can have an Archivist. Do we have anything else that reduces... Um... Okay, that... Let's go with that. I was hoping to just upset them by reducing their uh, corruption, but I don't think we're going to do much more than we're already doing. Yeah, it's it's dropping. What are you doing here, the Hunters of Kurnos? You've literally, you're not hunting very much. You just stood in the middle of an icy wasteland, just bossing about. Okay, let's get seal stones. Some tombs lay closed forever sealed with stones covered in ancient runes that glow when evil lurks nearby. Give us untainted plus one faction wide. And then we can get Valeria's protection, which is going to give us untainted plus three faction wide, which is good because obviously we, we really do struggle with corruption. So just having just general latent corruption reduction will be pretty good. Okay, public order is actually okay. We could repair these, but I'm not going to just yet. Uh, Peter Dinklage, you can spread public order. Sure, why not? May as well. Always in Blackfire Pass. Uh, Brian Bloom is fortunate. Fortune favors the bold, or is it the foolish? That's nice. He, uh, it looks like Sneak tried to assassinate him. Sneak has assassinated quite a few of our people, uh, but he failed this time, which is good. Bloody Sneak. I mean, plus he used to be Scarsnick's agent. And Scarsnick gets bonus to Asian actions. So... Seen as he confederated with the green skins, he no longer gets the bonus, which is good. Because trying to deal with Garstnik's agents is always an absolute pain in the arse. Especially as the dwarves who don't really have an assassin agent. They just. They've got agents that can wound, but they're on specialist. Okay, Mash is just kind of running away with it. He's, he's, he's pushed a wedge of his own territory. He's he's penetrated dwar the Dwarf's territory here. That's not ideal. Uh, sliced on tech, don't care. Raiding at Akendorf, that's fine. Uh, if we pop down here... Ready. Should we see if we can get him in an ambush? We maybe sort of scooch get over here. Yeah, if we go here and try a little ambush. Now Warwick is actually a bit of a dark horse. I mean, he's just a he's just a dwarf lord, but he has been um, racking up some quite impressive kills against. Uh, he's got got Green Skinner. He's got Great Green Killer. He's got uh, Cruelty Restrained. I mean, he's... And Undeath... I mean, he's killed quite a few special people in his time. God, what a, what a lad. And we're going to colonize Vorak. Get us some marble. I don't think we had marble. But we will soon. Uh, let's have a quick look at the... Right, that one. I mean, uh, maybe we're getting... Maybe getting it through trade. In fact, what can we... Can we do anything fun? We could get Elfbane. I mean, we're not really fighting against elves, though, so... Meh. Um, we could get Alric's armor. Seems silly not to. Alric's armor, sorry. And talismans... I could get the Angkor chain. Um, well, let's give... I mean, I feel like Warwick here deserves some good armor. 
So we're going to give him Alric's armor. That's going to give him armor plus 35, a ward save of 20%, an expert charge defense, but minus 10% speed. Uh, you've got a potion of speed as an enchanted item. Can we can we give you something a little bit better than that, do we think? Gatekeeper's belt. Hit points. So if your hit points are less than 20%. Okay. I kind of want to save the Scepter of Stone, though. We could get the Horn of the Ancestors as well. I think we just need to save. I'm just going to save, save my stuff. Uh, ooh. Ungrim. You're ready to rock. In that case, we're going to murder Jenkins over here. Jenkins? Really? Is that a goblin name? Oh well, whatever. He's dead. He does have a... He got a fairly beefy garrison, but we're going to completely utterly murder him. What's Karak Norn like? Karak Norn's got a beefy garrison as well. Uh, Belagar can come and assist us. Warwick should be able to deal with Grimgor. That should be fine. And Ozpin is kind of stuck at the moment because... Okay, let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade Fort Jackov. Then we can get another granary that's going to increase our growth. I mean, growth is, is okay at the moment. And we do get extra growth from this as well, so that's nice. It's a little hunting camp there. So hopefully Kislev won't take too long to grow up. Uh, we've got some more building going on all over the place here. Uh, yeah, let's take a dwarf tinker shop. Just anything to anything that gives us a little bit more cash can only be a good thing. And hopefully Warwick can gr hit gr uh, Grimgore. Peter, you're just going to have to stand down for the moment. Black, yeah, I know, I know that's ruined, but I'm just a little bit nervous that Grimgore might come back. And here we could get. I think we're going to get Empower the Guilds. So a little bit of extra growth would uh, would come in useful. Now once we've clicked, once Ungrim has cleaned out the mountains, we're going to go and finish off Vlad. All right, the ambush failed, but we have actually caught Grimgore in battle. And it looks like he's kind of bitten off more than he can chew here because this battle looks like it's very much in our favour. So uh, here we go. Let's let's beat up Grimgore. So here we are, a Black Fire Pass, famous of course for the battle that took place here between Sigmar and his allies, the Dwarves, and a huge horde of Greenskins. That sort of cemented the dwarves and humans alliance. And also defeated that huge horde of greenskins. Talking of huge hordes of greenskins, we've got some some wolf riders coming up left flank. I put my cannons up on this hill over here because this, this terrain is really tricky for them. I wanted them to have a good line of sight. You can see they're dealing with that rock lobber already. Good stuff. So Slayer's coming down, trying to catch these. The Goblin Wolf Riders are going to be really tricky in this fight. They're going to be really running all over the place and just giving me the slip. Meanwhile, Warwick and Grimgore going toe-to-toe -to -toe there. And it does say that uh, Warwick is losing decisively, but he's still holding his own. We've got squigs and goblins hitting our right flank. And we're now going to charge down the hill to engage. We've also got the Nor Grimlings Iron Breakers who are going to lay down a devastating satchel charge barrage on the blob of green skins. So we get already two units ready to rouse and break. The attack on the left flank is, is pretty potent, but we've got the peak, uh, the peak gate guard. Hammerers, they're just mashing their way through these squigs. Some wolf riders have managed to get in amongst the cannons and do some damage, but the wolf slayers have managed to drive them off. And we've also got the Ulthar's raiders who have been attacked by the goblin rock lobber crew, apparently. And then by basically, they, they don't really want to let these guys just run around and do their own thing. But here comes Lee Arenberg to lay the smack down. Boom. I think he just killed three there. Nice work. And they break and run. 
The fight's definitely going in our favour as we manage to flank around. You can see Grimgore's lost his friends. I mean, to be fair, his friends were goblins, so not a massive surprise. So Warwick now backed up with uh, his, his homies. Now really kicking the crap out of Grimgore there. Grimgore's not having a good time. And our quarrel is now able to just knock, knock down all of these ranged units that have been causing us some problems. The Slayers have chased some of these uh, Night Goblins. Miles. How fast? These are 35. These are 44. Oh, some, some squigs decided to join in, did they? I mean, the Slayers would probably love that. Well, not that one. He got eaten. But in general, they'll probably be fine. Ulthar's raiders just picking off some goblins there. You can see just chucking axes at them. Ouch. 60 kills. It's not bad. And Grimgor now fleeing for his life. He knows when he's beaten. And I mean, Warwick, I mean, did, did quite well there. I mean, he does have 130 armor and regeneration. So I think he's got two lots of regeneration as well. Yes, he, he regenerates really fast, does old Warwick, because he's got... He's got the he's got the regeneration skill from defeating Isabella, and he's also got another regeneration ability that isn't actually regeneration. So he gets two lots of regeneration on top of each other, which is pretty good, and means that he can pretty much take on Grimgore one on one. And unfortunately, for these little goblins here, they've decided to try and run into some slayers. Yeah, that's going to work out as well as you can expect. What a fight, and Grimgore has been... Well, he's, he's fleeing with his tail tucked firmly between his legs and uh, just going to execute... Oh, he's got a war. Really? And Warwick Davis has continued racking up his, his special character traits with Hide Striker. And... Grimgore has fled. Now, I think that war should dissipate because he doesn't have enough units in his army anymore. So that's my thinking. So we got some agents doing some, some sneaky... The Greenskins got a lot of agents, which is a bit of a problem. And they're quite concentrated on harassing me at the moment. So I... Greetings. Hmm. You no doubt have a request, I'll hear it now. Hello, Leonardo. No, go away. Right. I'm hoping the dwarves are now moving in to finish off the top knot. So once that's done. Oh, we've got grudge removed. We've got oath gold, all that kind of good stuff. Slayer ward, stonemason. That's nice. Uh, right. Now, his war has not dissipated. I think it should, though. Because you need a set number of units, and he's lost a lot of... Okay, let's head over here. Let's repair these bits. Okay, good. Kislev is being upgraded. And, oh yes, we've got Ungrim over here. And Belagar is just replenishing his force. We've got the Western Border Princes. Don't really need that. Could get more money. Let's just let's just check our our big money producing settlements. In fact, let's have a quick check. What are we making here? So Rib Peaks is making 5k. North World's Edge Mountains is making three. Blood River Valley is making two, which is actually a bit of a surprise, but it does have four build it does have four settlements in it, so let's get the dwarf hold there then. 
and everyone's fairly happy. Got the vaults down here. They are making a, a pittance. The Eastern Border Princes is not being taxed, but I think we can tax it now. And that should be fine. Death Pass. Yeah, we're not taxing that one. Um, I mean, there's no reason we couldn't tax that. And the Silver Road, of course, we're not taxing. Uh, good. Then we're going to make about 8k a turn, which is great. And Ungrim is... Uh, He's going to take on Grimhold. Now, this is a walled settlement, um, but... The slayer in me seeks death. I'm feeling fairly confident about it. I ain't doing that. Yes, my oath is intact. Thank them. So, they do have a lot of Orc Biggins. And a few Black Orcs, but other than that, I... I I'm feeling fairly confident about this. I think we can easily knock down the walls and just kill everyone inside. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.